Hey, a pleasant good New Year's Eve, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the preview to our Lehigh Valley Phantoms finally returning to play against the Utica Comets, who are also finally returning to play. The Phantoms last played the 21st. The Utica Comets uh, have not played since the 17th of December, so it's been even longer uh, for the Utica Comets uh, to be able to return to play. As for scores around the league right now in the second, it's 2-1 Colorado over Iowa and 2-0 Providence in the second over Hartford, just to give a quick score update. But Lehigh, of course, takes on Utica Comets, the best team in the league, but a team that has not seen the ice even longer than our Lehigh Valley Phantoms have not seen the ice. So both of these teams, you're probably going to see Russ, but who the heck knows? Because um, offense has been more prevalent in each league coming back, whether it's the ECHL, NHL, AHL coming back, you haven't seen, which is more normal at the defense just because of the systematic, how you could just have the fundamentals of defense. You technically see that usually better, where coming back this year of late, we saw a lot more goal scoring, and we saw the uh, ECHL affiliate of the Flyers running Royals immediately score five goals in their first game back, but then it's nothing, nothing in the second uh, right now for them. So, who really knows, but the Utica Comets are one of the fiercest teams in the league, as long as everything right in the 365 app, because it's not always updated, like with player stats and everything. But 7 11 4 and 2 is the right record. 18 1 and 2 is the right record. Head to head, we, of course, lost to Utica already. Uh, goals against, they've only allowed 40 to 76, a whopping 76 for the Phantoms. So the big thing is going to be keeping them to the outside, helping out your goaltender, and not allowing an absolutely bombardment on the goaltender the entire day. Uh, goals for is 60 to 75, so 15 more goals for uh, for the Comets. And in the last 10, both of these teams coming in have been playing some much better hockey of late. The Comets have been very good um, because that's what they've been all season. They're 18 1 and 2. They only have one regulation loss, where the Lehigh Valley Phantoms have been finding their game of late. And as long as they can do that returning from this break, uh, they, they can even in Utica beat this very good Comets team. They. They've been playing much better hockey of late. The Phantoms get the goaltending from Nagel. Um, then they're going to be able to really have a good chance to win this game. They're just going to have to keep the pressure up on offense because their offenses look better of late, therefore putting less pressure on their defense, making their defense uh, look better of late. That's going to have to happen in this game because if you're getting bombarded early by the Comets, again, their goals for the goals against is ridiculous, you're going to just lose immediately. Uh, this is a team that comes at you and they come at you strong and they never get off the gas pedal if you let them get off to a swimming start like pretty much every team in the AHL has. Um minus the teams that were able to beat them in OT, and the one team that was able to beat them in regulation. So the Sudika Kama team is a tough team to play, but both teams are coming in rusty. So it's all about who gets off to the better start, having all the rust, not playing for a while. Comets have extra days they haven't played. Uh, Phantoms haven't played since the 21st, which was a great win against Hershey. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see. This is going to be one of those weird games that's just been such a long layoff for both teams. I don't expect, but I didn't expect with the Royals game on Wednesday, um, the absolute um, great passing and offensive components of that game. So I expect it to take a little bit to get going, but sports are so unpredictable, you, you, you never really truly do know. But in terms of projecting um, my key players of the game uh, for this game, as always, uh, for the Lehigh Valley fans, I think uh, somebody that's going to come up big when you're playing the better team because you have to piss them off to sometimes uh, get to them would be a guy like Garrett Wilson, as well as guys like Hodgson and guys like Sonia, if all three of those play. you got to piss off the comments to try to get in their head and have them kind of beat themselves. And then I think the fans will have a good chance of winning this game. But this has been a quick preview. I would assume Patty Nagel is going to be in net uh, tonight for our Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Um, one would have to in Biz Jean, but we will have to see uh, going forward. I also think um, that Isaac Ratcliffe, uh, Shusko, all those guys are going to continue to look better as they have of late. Going to lead to the fan of playing much better hockey of late. That's going to continue now into the return from the holiday break. Um, let's just, even if we don't win this game, if you play the comments very well in your first game back after a long layoff, you're playing the big kahuna of the team great. I think the Phantoms will come out and play a solid game. Now it's just about seeing if they can win it or not. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Hope you enjoyed this preview to the We Have Thy Phantom versus the Utica Comets. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Have a safe and happy new year, everyone.